March for Women's Rights. Sarah Everard mourners clash with police in London. And who's won big at this year's Grammy Awards? Hi, I'm CJ and welcome to The Skinny. Thousands of people are marching across the country in a bid to end violence against women. 40 rallies were registered for the March for Justice movement, which called on federal parliament to put an end to dangerous workplace cultures. The organiser confronted the Deputy Prime Minister at parliament. I speak to you today out of necessity. We're all here today, not because we want to be here, but because we have to be here. We fundamentally recognise the system is broken, the glass ceiling is still in place, and there are significant failings in the power structures within our institutions. We are here because it's unfathomable that we are still having to fight this same stale, tired fight. Attorney General Christian Porter is suing the ABC and journalist Louise Milligan for defamation as he attempts to clear his name over historic rape allegations. He's accusing the ABC of trial by media and acting with malice. Mr Porter remains on leave. Queensland has recorded six new coronavirus cases, all in hotel quarantine. Authorities say it'll be another 24 hours before they're confident there has been no community transmission from a doctor who tested positive last week, while hotel security guard tested positive in Sydney. The Victorian Premier has been discharged from hospital a week after a serious fall. Daniel Andrews fractured his T7 vertebrae and broke several ribs. He will now start a significant period of rehabilitation. London's police commissioner says she won't quit amid criticism over clashes between police and mourners at a vigil for Sarah Everard. Sarah was kidnapped while walking home and her body was found a week later. Police officer has been charged with her murder. Beyonce was a big winner at this year's Grammy Awards and even achieved a Guinness World Record with Megan Thee Stallion for being the first female artist to win Best Rap Performance at the Grammys. Harry Styles opened the show with his hit Watermelon Sugar High. I don't know if I could ever go The royal family has shared Mother's Day cards, including one to Granny Diana. Seven-year-old George wrote one that said, Dear Granny Diana, Happy Mother's Day. I love you very much and think of you always. Charlotte coloured a huge heart and had a dancing mouse, and Louis did one too. Their handwriting is better than mine. For more, visit network11.tv.